This is the purchase of the sand rail on December 21st, 2018. It is a 2276 motor with a bus transmission and four seats. This is us trailering it back. If you look at the trailer, the back wheels barely fit on the frame. This is the first day back in the garage with it, and I was checking things out, measuring and getting an idea of what I wanted to do first. And I decided to change the trailing arms to a heavier duty, longer set. So I removed the stock trailing arm, and I built this with the shock mounts added here. Um, a limiting strap and this trailing arm is one inch longer so that my uh, tires sit further back and it gives me room because this torsion tube is extended so that you have a longer torsion bar gives you a smoother ride um, but it will only allow for a 31 inch tire. So if you want to go 33, you've got to move this back an inch. And this is definitely not going to break like the other stock one. Here we're checking out the brand new tires that we just got home, fitting them up. The front tires are also brand new military Jeep tires the rear are 33 1250s a couple of pictures of the motor and here we're getting ready to put the side panels and uh, hood body panels together there's our a and fitting lines here's our aluminum sheet metal for the body build gonna fit this uh, template for the hood see what it looks like zip tied it in place and then we zip tied in a sheet metal or a cardboard for the uh, sides get a template so we don't waste the aluminum and now we're going to hammer it into shape You can see here I just finished the uh, side panels and moved on to the hood. I had to use a metal brake because the edges were very sharp. Use the Zeus fasteners to fasten it down. And on the hood you can see that there's nothing mounted to it, but in a second you're going to see two rubber mounts with a bolt sticking out of them for the windshield to come down like a military jeep so you can drive either way. There's our... Uh, graphics on the side and there's the hood, the windshield mounts and a flag that we installed took it out in the desert for a couple of pictures and over to the park that flag's looking really good along with those side graphics and the blue is incredible there's our interior back seats there's our 72 pass oil cooler with a n fitting lines and a 12 volt fan there's our pre-cleaner snorkel system. It keeps 94% of the dirt and dust out of the carburetors. There's our recovery tracks, our pre-cleaner, a pin for the roof rack that I designed so you can remove it quick. There's a mount for the recovery tracks. There's the completed roof rack. And there's a nice set of KC lights that I got from OfferUp for $5. Here we're out uh, testing it on the trail and uh, checking the suspension. You can see it's rubbing the panels, but we did some adjustment on that and now we can pretty much go anywhere. This is my wife and I going through the water. We had absolutely 100% got soaked. It wasn't an inch of us that wasn't dry. There's me and my daughter doing a wheelie up a hill, small test wheelie, nothing big. And that's about it. So I hope you enjoyed the video.